afternoon everyone. So today I'll be showing you how I learned in the hospital and outside the hospital. Before I go on the duty, I'll show a little unboxing. Uh, I got this package before just as I left the house. So I'm just gonna open this up with a ball pen. It's a bunch of notepads because I saw that my interns were using this really nice flip notebook. Like a Muji style ruled notebook and it's like really handy. Because I've been using like the book type where you just flip out. But like but I find that um it's it was hard to use properly because it would constantly like just not fold well. Like it'd be hard like to use one handed. So I ordered a whole bunch of these instead. Yeah. So if you're interested in checking these out, I'll leave a link down below so you can go check them out on Lazada and probably I'll also leave a Shopee link if I can find it. signed out from ER duty. I'm gonna go back to my car and drive home for the day. Probably get and then we get some dinner on the way because I didn't get any time to go take a break because for yung major to the to my patients. So I'm gonna go home, get some good night rest and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um the we can also ask if the if the neighbor's dog is vaccinated against rabies. Uh, and if um, the patient has been previously vaccinated for rabies. And also tetanus. So as you just saw, I just had an SGD this morning about rabies. And what you saw yesterday is that I had uh, duty. And what I did during duty is that I applied a lot of the skills that I learned during. So recently, I've come to realize that after recall isn't like the be all end all when it comes to studying. There is uh, something I've recently come across called Bloom's taxonomy and I something that I heard mentioned before when I was in undergrad that it's like a hierarchy of learning where it's from like uh, being able to recall which is at the base and then being able to uh, create which is at the very top of that taxonomy. I'll put an image on screen to help you get an idea of the hierarchy there. Within that hierarchy, you want to be able to increase the complexity of how you apply knowledge and not just be able to only um, recall the knowledge but be able to understand, apply, analyze, compare and contrast these things so that you have higher levels of learning and therefore can better utilize the information that you're given so that it's more integrated into your memory so you're less likely to use it because even with active recall if you're just basically rote memorizing the pieces of information that are given to you over time even with say repetition you're more likely to forget it compared to if you are able to have really good understanding and be able to analyze and compare contrast different ideas basically like interleaving different pieces of information that you are given i found that those are pieces of information that i retain for much much longer and that's something i've really noticed with doing anki for the past um half year or so especially dedicated with now with courtship
Okay, so G, what are we doing this afternoon? We're doing ambulance car. Got out of duty uh, like four, nearly an hour late and measured again toxic towards the end, so had to extend so to take care of the patients that came in during the like last five minutes of my duty. But yeah, I don't, I uh, didn't really get to explain how like the staying at home studying when I'm not on duty works, but I think I'll reserve that for the next thing. So I think I'll just go home first and yes. So, um through the magic of editing, you'll see me tomorrow. So basically when you're studying at home as a in clerkship, internship, you basically have to reflect on the cases that you came across. So what the patients, what procedures did they undergo, what um, what is the course of the disease they had. So you get a clinical picture and then from there, the, the topics you didn't understand, oh, the pathophysiology of the disease, how the treatment works, um, any questions that the consultant may have had that you weren't able to answer. Those are the topics that you have to do self-study on and try to understand. I find that you shouldn't just go, uh, um, what is the answer to this question and then just make a flashcard out of that and that's the end of it. You should also focus on trying to understand on like the whys behind it. For example, like uh, if a patient has acute coronary syndrome, the the regimen you just give, do an antiplatelet treatment and then you give a statin. And then, but it's not enough to just know that. You need to know like why you give the double anti beta theory, uh, the dual anti beta theory, which is the reason you want to pr prevent clots in forming and why do clots, clots can form. It's because the lumen of the coronary blood vessels allows blood to easily clot since it slows down the flow of blood. So, you know, th that type of logic is important in foundation building your knowledge within medicine. You know, as you uh, go further into your field, you start, you start to accrue more knowledge, and it's not enough to just have basically a surface level understanding of the things that you're learning. You need to know the deeper and form, you need to go deeper into the topic to form um, deeper connections amongst different topics within your field so that if you uh, do forget the knowledge, you can just reverse engineer the answer back because you know the logical steps behind it. If you like the, this type of content, please consider subscribing. And if you want to check out my other content, if of my other videos on how to study, and you can just watch my other vlogs. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.